In this video I will show you the problems I had with my Samsung 970 EVO Plus. This is a NVMe SSD from Samsung and it has a serious problem once in a while when it's used more than the usual it shows 100% usage in Windows 11 and the, hard, the SSD, the NVMe is stuck, it doesn't work anymore. Otherwise it's working perfectly and this could be the reason of hardware failure, a firmware problem or a driver problem or overheating from what I understood. There is no really no solution from, from what I could find. Every time everyone says to change the driver, update the driver, everyone says to make sure to use the driver from Samsung and not the Microsoft one. But that's easier said than done. Really, there must be some kind of a special way that I don't know. I mean, I don't know a lot of things about this, but I couldn't find a guide where it shows you how to install the Samsung driver and remove the Microsoft driver. I tried to uninstall the device from the device manager. I have here everything in high speed because I actually solved the problem. I took the NVMe SSD out from the computer, put it in a Ugreen external uh, NVMe case and it's working fine there. So it's using the same driver, the Microsoft one. And I don't know what's happening. I actually, I, I didn't have enough patience for it to try to dig through it. At some point I thought that it was hardware, fail, hardware failure because it really goes to 100% and it's uh, go, the drive is read only, the computer is not responsive. The only way to get it back to normal is to force restart the computer and this is really difficult. Nothing from Samsung about this so I don't know what's happening with that and all I could find the most unhelpful forums support, support sites from Microsoft it's always some generic reply and I don't know, maybe I missed some step here, but uh, Samsung driver, I installed it and it still uses the Microsoft driver. And in the Samsung Magician, it shows the driver as being the Samsung one. So maybe that's the Samsung one. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's a Samsung one. But uh, yeah, this is the... This is the situation with the Samsung NVMe SSDs, 970 EVO Plus. I don't know if it's uh, the same with other ones. I know there were some issues with firmware that was wearing out the drive, the SSD, faster than it should be because of uh, too many writes. But this doesn't seem to be the case. I did a check for firmware, the latest firmware installed. I also did this scan, which is pretty useless. I mean... The Samsung Magician also when when it's the drive is working normally everything shows here everything is perfect, but when it's frozen it's stuck it doesn't show anything and no program sees it, it doesn't show in device manager it doesn't show in uh, my computer Samsung Magician for sure no, the the symptom for this is do you see the drive is not responsive and if it's a system drive then nothing will work everything will be stuck but because it's not a system drive here i can show you that it's 100 percent usage many times i couldn't even save the the screen recording so i had to use the camera for example here when usually this happens when i play a video file and i skip through it quickly and i try to do this after putting the drive in the mvme and it's not doing it anymore and this is the symptom here 100% use and it's not responsive, not responsive, you can't do anything with it anymore. The good thing is that after a restart you can still access your files and it's not nothing, no files are lost but who knows until when. So because of this I don't use this drive for anything important, I only use it for a write cache for DaVinci Resolve. It's actually, I use it for proxies and optimized media, so it's all temporary files, but it's good to have it, to have a high speed. Um, when it's inside the computer, it's running at higher speeds, 2.5 giga per second, the 2.5 mega, no, 2.5 gigabits per second, about 2 gigabits per second. So maybe that's also the reason, because in the NVMe, in the external enclosure, the maximum speed is 1 gigabit per second. So maybe 
this is the way it can work normally it doesn't it doesn't try to work too fast doesn't matter this thing helped it it fixed it for me so i didn't have to throw away the nvme drive and buy another one i just got the enclosure i put it in the enclosure and it's sitting on top of the pc now instead of the in the m.2 slot could have been also overheating because it didn't have a heat sink now it has a thermal pad thanks for watching